Your Mac is an excellent productivity machine, but things can always get a little bit better. The App Store is packed with great apps that can help you with the way you work, and we've cherry-picked the best apps to do that for you. Calendars are not fun to use. They're clunky, they require way too many inputs, and they're very time-consuming. But not fantastical too. Its natural language input adds entries by the way you speak. For example, typing go to a movie from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. at PVR tomorrow will add all the required entries automatically to the right fields and also give you the appropriate location options. It syncs perfectly with a variety of calendars including Outlook, Google and Apple calendars so you don't have to drastically change anything about your work process. Now that there's no native Twitter app for the Mac, we suggest you look for a good third-party option instead of relying on your web browser. We suggest TweetBot 3. It has support for multiple accounts, makes all your tweets, replies, and DMs visible in a single multi-column screen, and seamlessly integrates some essential power tools like TweetStorms. Oh, and it syncs well with iCloud. As writers, we do a lot of image editing for photos that accompany our posts as well as our videos. And if you've ever done image editing, you know that Photoshop is the best option for the tool. But Pixelmator comes a close second. It's a powerful image editor with an interface that's instantly recognizable by Photoshop users. It's friendlier though, with quick shortcuts to a variety of filters and effects. Clipboards are arguably one of the most useful features in any operating system, but they're extremely limited in their scope. That's where Pace 2 comes in. In Pace 2, you have the ability to copy from multiple sources and have each copied element saved as a separate note. All you need to do is press Command Shift V and you get all your copied notes, which you can paste at your convenience. You can save notes for days, months, or even indefinite amount of time, which makes this tool incredibly useful. Sometimes you don't need a full-fledged word processor for writing. In fact, when you're writing for web, it's better to do it in plain text than rich text. IA Writer is just that, a plain text editor with impressive features like markdown support, web preview, a focus mode so you can type without distractions, and many other great features to help you just write when you want to. To-do lists are everywhere. In fact, macOS has a pretty good reminders app that comes pre-installed. But if you want more from your to-dos and your day's functioning pretty much depends on these lists, then Things 3 is a far superior experience. With a quick keyboard shortcut, you can bring up a note where you can add new tasks for yourself. Click on the task and you can add more details about it in a note format. It syncs with your calendars and shows you your appointments as well, under a single interface. Deleting apps on the Mac is as easy as dragging the icon to trash. Or is it? What you may not realize is that each app you uninstall leaves a number of files on your system, and that clutter can really add up. That's why you need an app like Trash Me, an app uninstaller that will make sure there's no unnecessary residue left behind when you trash an app from your Mac. How many services are you signed into on an average? Gmail, Slack, MS Office, Trello? You can use one app to stay signed in to all these without crowding your browser at all times. Waybox keeps you signed in on all the major services that you use regularly and alerts you every time you get a message on any of those. It's pretty handy and keeps your browser window free. The one feature everyone misses when they switch from Windows to Mac is the ability to maximize Windows. Magnet gives you that and more with the ability to snap your app windows to any edge of the screen letting you use an app in maximized mode. Snap two apps side by side so you can drag and drop items and a lot more. It's a great app that doesn't cost much. Even if you haven't moved from Windows to Mac, chances are you'll encounter a lot of external drives that are formatted in Windows NTFS file system. Now that could be a problem because you cannot transfer files from your Mac to an NTFS drive. That's where Microsoft NTFS for Mac by Paragon comes in. Just mount a drive on this app and you'll be able to use it as a drive that was formatted for Mac. Have you missed anything? What are your favorite productivity apps for Mac? Let us know in the comments below. And for all things tech, log on to Gadgets360.com.